Yes. The number of dead continues to climb nearly a week after Hurricane Ian roared ashore in Florida as a Category 4 storm. CBS News has confirmed more than 100 people have died. CBS 2's Christian Benavides has the latest from Fort Myers Beach on the search and recovery efforts tonight. Unfortunately, there has been, I think, more... Um, fatalities than anybody anticipated. Right? Nearly a week after Hurricane Ian slammed into Southwest Florida, rescue teams with dogs are still going door to door on Fort Myers Beach, searching for victims. Until we go through the rubble, until we see exactly what we have, we're not certain who's missing and what those numbers will be. Many people chose to ride out the storm, despite being told to leave. Once we leave, we can't get back. Lost everything. This structure, likely someone's home or business, now sits here next to these giant shrimp boats that were brought ashore when Hurricane Ian made landfall, just showing the sheer strength of the storm surge that it brought with it. Despite the somber moments and scenes of nearly indescribable destruction, cleanup is underway and there is hope. We are making tremendous progress, folks, and I'm proud to say that in five days, give or take, we are coming back on our feet. The sheriff is urging people to help their neighbors. It's all hands on deck here, folks. Let's everybody help each other because we're in this together. Over 400,000 people began the day without electricity in Florida. Officials say they're confident most of the power will be back by Sunday. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Fort Myers Beach, Florida.